In our journey through life, we encounter various kinds of people. Some bring joy, inspiration, and encouragement, while others seem to drain our energy and leave us feeling depleted. These toxic individuals can have a profound impact on our emotional well-being and hinder our spiritual growth. As followers of Christ, it is essential for us to be discerning and identify toxic people who may be detrimental to our lives. The Bible offers valuable guidance on this matter, providing us with insight and wisdom to navigate such relationships. In this video, we will explore five biblical ways to identify toxic people, drawing inspiration from relevant verses. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. First, recognize their deceitful words. In Proverbs chapter 26, verses 24 and 25, it is written, He who hates, disguises it with his lips, and lays up deceit within himself. When he speaks kindly, do not believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Toxic individuals often have a way with words. They may speak kindly and flatter you, but deep down, their intentions may be far from pure. The book of Proverbs warns us against those who disguise their hatred with honeyed words. We must pay attention to their consistency, looking beyond their eloquence and assessing their actions. Actions speak louder than words, and it is through consistent behavior that true character is revealed. As we navigate relationships, let us remember that discernment goes beyond surface-level charm. By paying attention to the consistency between words and actions, we can safeguard our emotional well-being and protect ourselves from the toxic influence of those who disguise their true intentions. True character shines through in deeds, not just words. Second, observe their divisive nature. Romans chapter 16 verse 17 says, Now I urge you, brethren, Note those who cause divisions and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which you learned, and avoid them. Toxic people possess a divisive nature, finding satisfaction in sowing seeds of discord and creating conflicts within relationships and communities. Their actions stand in direct opposition to the teachings of Christ, as the Apostle Paul reminds us in Romans 16 verse 17. They may seek personal gain or derive pleasure from stirring up trouble, hindering our spiritual growth and the unity we are called to as believers. In order to protect ourselves, we must be discerning and recognize those who cause divisions contrary to the principles of love, harmony, and reconciliation. By actively avoiding such individuals, we create space for healthy relationships to flourish and maintain an environment conducive to spiritual growth. Let us guard our hearts and remain watchful, not allowing toxic influences to infiltrate and disrupt the unity we strive to maintain in our Christian journey. Third, assess their lack of accountability. Proverbs chapter 19 verse three says, the foolishness of a man twists his way and his heart frets against the Lord. Toxic individuals exhibit a troubling lack of accountability, often deflecting blame and refusing to take ownership of their actions and decisions. They engage in a pattern of shifting responsibility onto others, evading the consequences of their choices. Proverbs 19 verse 3 warns us about the foolishness that twists a person's path, causing their heart to fret against the Lord. When we come across individuals who consistently avoid accountability, it serves as a clear indication of their toxic nature. In contrast, we should seek companionship with those who display humility and a genuine willingness to acknowledge their mistakes and learn from them. Surrounding ourselves with accountable individuals not only fosters a healthy environment, but also encourages personal growth and a deeper connection with God's wisdom. Let us be discerning and intentional in our relationships embracing accountability, and avoiding the toxic influence of those who shirk responsibility. Fourth, discern their negative influence. 
In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33, it is written, Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. Our choice of companions significantly shapes our lives, as the Apostle Paul emphasizes in this verse. Toxic individuals possess a detrimental influence that can corrupt our morals and lead us away from our faith and principles. It is essential not to deceive ourselves by assuming we are immune to the impact of bad company. We must exercise caution and discernment when encountering those who consistently engage in destructive behavior as their toxic habits have the potential to rub off on us. Instead, we should intentionally surround ourselves with godly individuals who uplift, encourage, and inspire us. These companions play a vital role in our spiritual growth, guiding us closer to God's purpose for our lives. By seeking out positive influences, we create an environment that fosters our personal development and deepens our relationship with God. Let us be mindful of the company we keep and ensure that we surround ourselves with those who reflect the values and character we aspire to embody. Fifth, pay attention to their unrepentant hearts. Matthew chapter 7 verses 16 to 20 says, You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. The teachings of Jesus in this verse provide us with profound wisdom when identifying toxic individuals. He uses the analogy of fruit-bearing trees to illustrate that good trees produce good fruit, while bad trees yield bad fruit. In the same way, the actions of people reflect the condition of their hearts. Toxic individuals consistently display harmful behavior without genuine remorse or a desire for reconciliation. Despite our inherent fallibility, it is important to discern those who refuse to acknowledge their wrongdoing and remain unrepentant. Their consistent pattern of harmful actions serves as a clear indicator of a toxic heart. Therefore, it is essential for our own well-being to exercise discernment and distance ourselves from such individuals. By doing so, we create space for healthier relationships and protect ourselves from the negative influence of those unwilling to change. Let us seek wisdom from God to recognize the fruit of repentance and align ourselves with individuals who strive for growth, transformation, and reconciliation. Identifying toxic people in our lives is a crucial step towards protecting our emotional well-being and fostering healthy relationships. The Bible provides us with invaluable guidance on this matter, urging us to be discerning and observant. By recognizing deceitful words, divisive nature, lack of accountability, negative influence, and unrepentant hearts, we can identify those who may be toxic to our spiritual growth. Let us remember the words of Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. As we navigate relationships, may we seek godly companionship and surround ourselves with those who uplift, inspire, and bring us closer to God's purpose for our lives. We kindly request you to support us in spreading the teachings of Jesus worldwide. By liking and sharing this video, you play a crucial role in amplifying the message of love, wisdom, and guidance to a broader audience. Together, let us inspire others and bring the transformative power of Jesus' teachings to every corner of the globe. Amen.